My name is Tejawit Suwanniko. And I'm Asheria Kriyipat. And we are student from International College, KMITL. In this video, we'll be presenting about our assembly project, which is called Maze Walker. Maze Walker is a maze-based game that is designed to improve a player's problem-solving skills. It requires player to figure in the way out of our six challenging level maze game. Next, we'll be talking about the components used in the project. The components used in this project is the LPC Expresso, LPC-1769, the LPC-1768, which on this board we use the LCD screen, joystick, buzzer, analog to digital converter or the ADC, and lastly, the LED. The use of these components will be explained later in the video. In this part, we are going to demonstrate our program. But first thing first, we would like you to know how our maze is generated. Our maze is generated by depth first search algorithm, which will start at a particular cell and call it the exit. The algorithm will mark the current cell as visited and get a list of its neighbors. For each neighbor, starting with a randomly selected neighbor. It will continuously doing this until it finds the exit and it will recur back and our maze is generated. Before going to the main game, let's see the how to play page. The joystick is used to control the player. The ADC is used to adjust the player's speed. The LED and the buzzer is both used to notify the turns in the survival mode and the clock in the time attack mode. Now let's go back to the main page. Now we can start the game. When we press start, there will be two available modes for you to choose. First one is survival mode. The second one is time attack, which we will demonstrate the survival mode first. After the maze is generated, on your right hand side you can see there will be a status displaying mode, stage, and available turns. When you're playing in survival mode, you have to complete each level by the given numbers of turns. If you cannot, the game is over. So, when you control the player, you have to be very careful when you take turns. You can do that by using ADC to adjust the walker's speed in order to prevent them from colliding with walls so that you will not lose turns. In this mode, all of the LED lights and a buzzer will notify every single time you take turns. When you complete the final level, the victory page will display along with your records and you can return to the main page to play again. Next, we will demonstrate you time attack mode. When you play in time attack mode, you have to complete each level by the given time. And if you cannot reach goal before the time, the game is over. When you're playing in time attack mode, you have to be sure that the player speed is fast enough. You can do that by adjusting the speed by using ADC. In this mode, all of the LED lights and a buzzer will notify every single second that the clock is ticking. When you complete the final level, the victory page will be displayed along with your records, which is the time remaining. You can press enter to return to the main page. And this is the end of a Maze Walker demonstration. And that's our project. That is Maze Walker. Thank you for watching.